the house of love for the medicine is love here in Abidjania, the heart of Brazil. And we have another gorgeous day here. This gift from God Almighty to multiply our love light on earth. It's overcast and lovely and cool. But the sky unites us right across the miles when we're standing looking into the heavens we're looking at the same sky. And we have birds serenading us in a divine symphony, you might be able to hear the Abijania cockadoodle doos day and night. They are reminding us of their presence, and everywhere there are gorgeous flowers, uh, fall colours, and fragrances being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees, and even more butterflies than you could ever imagine. And this reminds us of our transformation, and that all things pass, all things are impermanent, and we are just travellers here on earth. And as we settle deeper and deeper into this necessary divine work, wherever you are in the world, relax. If you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do in the current, feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous, majestic, high vibration to flow fluidly, freely and easily through all of our chakras, pouring forth from our open hearts connecting us heart to heart across the miles, this beautiful current of love and light. 
put a glass of water beside you, this is blessed, and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us, mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is very necessary for this sacred work, we were always asked to keep our eyes closed in the current, this collective concentration multiplying this beautiful high vibration on earth. And we leave the material world behind with all of its stresses, problems, difficulties. We open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is. We are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body, we're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And the best sight is in sight. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. So many entities of light and love working with us. All we need to do is to reach out and ask with a contrite heart and we will receive everything we need and more for this challenging earthly journey. And today we go on a voyage of discovery with one of the major entities of the Casa Chico Xavi Air the godfather of spiritism in Brazil, an absolutely extraordinary entity. And he was born in Brazil on, in, in 1910. And he is noted for his amazing paranormal abilities as a medium. And most notably, the technique referred to as psycho psychography channeling the spirit in order to write a book based on the knowledge imparted by that spirit. And one of these books we're very famous with is Nosolar. It was uh, uh, psychographed by Chico Xavier. It's a great account of what happens after we pass on into the next level of consciousness without our physical bodies, reminding us that the dead are not dead and that there is a lot of work to do when we leave our spiritual bodies. And it's unclear whether or not Chico is one of the many incorporated spirits as the Kaz at the Casa, but he was a mentor and a beloved friend of Medium Joao. And Medium Joao was a pallbearer at his funeral in Minas Gerais. And it was through the spirit of Baziri de Menezes, who is uh, the doctor of the poor, another beautiful incorporated entity, that the message came through Chico Xavier and on down to Medium Joao to build a casa here on this sacred ground of Abidjania for many reasons. The earth here is uh, blessed by crystals and um, this energy attracts an amazingly high vibration and of course the casa has a dynamic portal reaching out into the next level up towards the heavens you certainly feel closer to heaven here in abijania because it is very high above sea level and the energy is magnetic so psychographed message was, Dear Joao, esteemed friend, Abijania is the blessed site of your illuminated mission and of your peace. So everything was put in motion in the beginning by Chico Xavier to build a casa here in the sacred ground of Abijania. And Chico Xavier he was so, such a beautiful medium, very, very humble, very, very poor. He psychographed over 400 books, sold 25 million copies, and all of the profits of these books were donated to charity. In addition to his work as a medium, Chico Xavier dedicated his life to our brother Jesus. He was an avid humanitarian and he devoted his psychic abilities to reassure others that life continues after death. 
So we are in great hands with this amazing entity of the Casa, Chico Xavier. And through the power of the Christ consciousness, which he, many, many of his books, there were messages from our brother Jesus. And it's all about forgiveness, love, peace, gratitude, joy, humility, harmony, and of course forgiveness always, which is very, very difficult. So in this beautiful spirit of the Christ consciousness and the unfoldment of the phenomenal work of Chico Xavier, particularly now that he is on the other side, he is available to us 24 seven. As we turn now to our brother Jesus, and ask him to help us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness. And in the spirit of the Casa, Dom Ignacio came through many years ago and said, I am calling all my children back home here to the portal of the Casa. And there are 55 countries represented at the Casa, all unique with their traditions, cultures and languages. And even though we are all individuals, we are all the same children of God. And today in the spirit of us, one community, one family working together to multiply this beautiful love light on earth, we bring you the Lord's Prayer, recorded by our gorgeous sister, Karolina, in Slovenia, daughter of the Casa. As we say the Lord's Prayer in her native language, Slovenian. Our Father in Slovenian language. Oče naš, ki si v nebesih, posvečeno bodi tvoje ime, pridi k nam tvoje kraljestvo, zgodi se tvoja volja, kakor v nebesih, tako na zemlji. Daj nam danes naš vsakdani kruh in odpusti nam naše dolge, kakor tudi mi odpuščamo svojim dolžnikom in ne vpeli nas v skušnjavo, tem več reši nas hudega. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging times on earth. As we go within on the journey of the heart, remembering that the opening of our heart is our mission on earth, as we learn to love and forgive each other. Not an easy journey. And we go on this spiritual path, reminding us that we're not the body, we're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. Going inwards to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the love, the forgiveness, the compassion, the joy, the gratitude, the humility, the coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood, deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us, we are divine beings, helping us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of sickness into well-being. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Hail Mary in Slovenian language. Zdrava Maria, milosti pauna, gospod je s teboj. Blagoslovljena si med ženami in blagoslovljen je sad, Tvojega telesa, Jezus, Sveta Marija, Mati Božja, prosi za nas grešnike, zdaj in ob naši smrtni uri. Amen.
só preciso de você Só quero você O amor na minha vida é você O meu desejo é você Meu Deus Me mostra a sua vontade Sua luz me guia
things change, the more they remain the same. There's only one law in the universe that never changes and that is that all things change and all things are impermanent. The only constant is God, this consciousness. And down through the centuries the world has seen many catastrophes. The plague came back many times in the course of history and we are going through an extraordinary evolvement on the planet right now. Big changes are afoot and we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil as today we consider our beautiful brother Chico Xavier who predicted so much of the calamity that is now happening on earth and it's all for our spiritual evolvement. Chico Xavier in his words said all the religions of the world point to a unique moment in the future of humanity in which reality will be drastically transformed by a singular event. This event will usher in a new existential era for all beings that share the planet Earth. It will be the moment when the human species will rediscover its origins and discover its role in the universe in which it is existing. And Chico had a very expansive view of the universe very much reminding us that we are sharing the universe, which is infinite, with other beings. We are living on a tiny, tiny little planet that we call home for now. And Chico also predicted, if we do not enter a war of extermination in the next 50 years, starting from the date that man stepped on the moon on July the 20th, 1969, to the deadline of July the 20th, 2019. Then we can expect extraordinary achievements of human science and we will have the help of these higher beings known as ETs. And in recent years there has been a lot of talk about UFOs or as they have been renamed UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. Chico Xavier connected with these beings and was also reminding us that if we think we're the only beings in the universe that we are very small-minded indeed. We remember Neil Armstrong's words when he stepped on the moon. They're immortalized. One small step for man, one giant step for humanity. And of course, Einstein was always trying to solve the mysteries of the universe. He said, we cannot solve a problem with the same mentality that created it. So it all boils down to us having to change. We need to evolve on our paths. And this can be done only by us revisiting the way we are living on Earth. We're living on this planet like we have another one to go to. And also, not only are we trashing the planet, but we are also building up a lot of resentments and division among ourselves. The Christ Consciousness reminds us to love our neighbour as ourselves, which is the teaching of the Casa and Chico Xavier. And of course, Christ reminds us, forgive them, for they know not what they do, from the cross. So as we embrace these beautiful teachings, we ask the Divine Power to help us to change, to let go of anything and everything that 
no longer serves us to evolve on the path to love forgive unconditionally not only ourselves but our brothers and sisters as we absorb these beautiful psychograph words of Chico Xavier his Christian principles Always help. Do not fear. Never despair. Learn incessantly. Think often. Meditate more. Speak little. Correct lovingly work happily direct sensibly obey contentedly do not complain go forward Observe beyond. Look ahead. Discuss serenely. Shed light. Sow peace. Spread blessings. Struggle elevating. Be happy. Live confidently. Show courage. Reveal calmness. Respect everything. Pray trustingly. Be watchful with benevolence. Go forth progressing. Serve today and await tomorrow.
you may be able to hear the rain outside which we are very grateful for it is the dry season but this is called the rain of the flores after this burst of heavenly joy we will have flowers blooming everywhere of all colors and fragrances so god is so good to us we are being embraced in this majestic high vibration and looked after so much on earth and we forget that we're enrolled in the school of life and that there's no part of life that doesn't contain its lessons and they seem to be very difficult right now we're learning the art of living and dying well and bringing this learning and teaching into every aspect of our daily lives mind body and spirit and we're learning also that there is a bigger picture and we're increasing our faith in this beautiful collective consciousness through the portal of the Kaza. And we're getting to know more and more these Kaza entities. And Chico Xavier was prolific in his writings, channeled them from the spirit world here on Earth. His works were even used in court cases to determine the outcome. And he had so many messages from the other side, reminding us that we are just travelers here on earth and the dead aren't dead. And when we leave these physical bodies behind, we will be liberated into the spirit world. And there will be a reckoning. We have had many lifetimes on earth, many incarnations. And this one is very important that we learn the lessons we didn't learn the first time around. And what matters at the end of our earthly lives is how much did we love and forgive? How much did we let go? And through the words of Chico Xavier, channeled not that long ago, about 60 years reminding us to love to forgive and to bring Jesus and the Christ consciousness into our hearts let us pray father kindle your divine light around all those who have neglected your blessing in the darkness of the earthly journey. Help those who have forgotten to share the leftover bread on their full tables. Help those who are unashamed to flaunt their happiness in the face of poverty and misfortune. Help those who forget to thank their benefactors. Take pity on those who sleep in the nightmares of vice, bequeathing a dolorous inheritance to those who are embarking upon the human journey. Uplift those who have forgotten the duty to serve their neighbours. Take pity on the wise that hide their intelligence within the four walls of their domestic paradise. Awaken those who dream of controlling the world, not realizing that, compared with eternity, their life in the flesh is merely one minute between the cradle and the grave. Uplift those who have fallen, defeated by an excess of material comfort. Correct those who spread sadness and pessimism among their fellow beings. Forgive those who have turned down the opportunity for peace and who go through life disseminating rebelliousness and disorder. Intervene on behalf 
of all those who believe that they possess fantastic power and insanely deem themselves to be judges, condemning their very own brothers and sisters. Awaken the troubled souls who poison the paths of others with the spiritual aggression of untimely acts. Extend your paternal hands to all those who have forgotten about the sentence of death, the renewer of life, which your law has engraved on the precarious body. Enlighten those who have lost themselves in the darkness of hatred and revenge, of wayward ambition and cold cruelty, and who believe that they are powerful and free when they are nothing more than slaves worthy of compassion before your sublime will. All of them, Father, are wrongdoers who elude the courts of earth, but who are singled out by your sovereign and perfect justice for crimes of forgetfulness before the infinite good. Amen.
We've come to a very special and important time for all of us now. As we relax into our physical bodies, our hard work is over for now. We are open to receive. As you give, so it will be given you. Taking a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in the future with all of its hope, promise, joy, love, forgiveness, peace, gratitude, humility, respect, awareness, kindness, courage, faith, trust, coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood. And let us breathe out the past with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, rage, anger, anything and everything that no longer serves us. Handing everything over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos. Transmuting all denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, unburdened, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. And as we enjoy this miraculous rain pouring from the skies in Abidjanya now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on earth in this incarnation, to let go of anything and everything that's stopping us, holding us back from stepping into our power, our love light, remembering we are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. We are shifting dimensions. It's not an easy journey. Just let go. We've nothing to fear. We are so supported and loved and helped by these amazing entities. We're in a safe place. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling. And there's so many of our brothers and sisters who are feeling suicidal, depressed, abandoned, unloved, desolate, unwanted, angry, frustrated homeless and the children of the world they're innocent they don't need to suffer our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps were all children of god no exceptions they need to be liberated now anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather fires hurricanes earthquakes tornadoes floods famine drought god is merciful and will hear our prayers and let's bring medium Zhuo into this high vibration and anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems at the casa and we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies. Who need to be liberated into the light, accepting, extend, extending this beautiful high vibration to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing, giving us everything we need and more for the earthly journey. Let's share our bounty with the world. There's more than enough love and light to go around. Bringing this miraculous high vibration now into all hospitals, having our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now on Mother Earth. And we send out a special prayer to our sister Marlene, who is in hospital in Guyana. May all of the entities be with her and protect her and love her and help her. 
this high vibration pouring into all nursing homes helping our elders, into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, rehabilitation centres, anywhere, everywhere, on planet Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering, in pain or are hungry. This godlight pouring into all war zones, anywhere there's riots, unrest, disharmony, fighting, conflict. God is merciful and will hear all of our prayers. And St. Reed is always with us. To God, all things are possible. This unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to our divine essence. We're all children of God, no exceptions. And let's start simply by putting people before profit. It's not difficult. Right here, right now, This pristine crystal clear energy gushing forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth's already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. In this sacred moment, this almighty, all-compassionate, all-loving, all-forgiving, majestic, high vibration enveloping Gaia. Earth and heart have the same letters. The earth is receiving a heart transplant from the sacred heart of Jesus and Mary. Growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings, carnage and disincarnate. All creatures, great and small, as it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings, with and without bodies, all of God's creatures in all universes, be healthy, happy, mindful, kind, joyful, generous, compassionate, aware, loving, forgiving, trusting, faithful, humble, prayerful. Come together in brotherhood and sisterhood. And be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
as we rejoice in this wonderful high vibration pouring from the heavens, this cleansing, healing energy into our open hearts, filling us up to overflowing, giving us everything we need and more for this challenging journey now on earth. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, this wonderful collective consciousness. One family under the banner of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love where the medicine is love. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight, knowing that there is a bigger picture and that we have been down this road before in many lifetimes and we really need to evolve. And this time on earth is really prolific. There is an acceleration of the energy and we are equipped with everything we need and more. We have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. As we are in total gratitude to God Almighty for sending all of these messages of love. So many angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen beings, elevated spirits, and these phenomenal entities of light and love from all walks of life. They too had bodies once or twice, so they know all about the human condition. They know all about us. They see our suffering and they know exactly what we need as we reach out to them in solidarity and ask for help. God hears all prayers, provided it's for our highest good. We usually forget that there is a surrendering happening. And thank you in particular today for our beautiful brother, Chico Xavier the godfather of spiritism in Brazil, so psychographing over 400 books from the spirit world with so much wisdom, signposts on the journey for all of us. And also instructing medium Joao to build a casa on this sacred ground of Abijania, our sacred spiritual home, where we all come together and are reunited after lifetimes to work together as one heart, to raise the vibration of the entire planet. How great is that? And thank you for always sending our beautiful brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, and the entire Christ consciousness, and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence, to realize that life is short and when the lessons are learned and they're very difficult right now, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings where there's no more pain and no more suffering. The best is yet to come. And thank you to you all my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again dedicating yourself to this divine work, for your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to walk the spiritual path. It's not an easy journey. For your faith, hope, patience, humility, light, love, to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Love and service. The motto of the Jesuits written on the walls of the entity's room in Portuguese and English. As we take this leap of faith together, faith moves mountains. And your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, your extended family, all of those around you and Mother Earth. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We are evolving. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. We are the ones we have we waiting for. We are the light workers. Rise up, warriors of the light. You have nothing to fear. We are not alone. We rise by lifting others. We're just walking each other home on earth. 
Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing. Trustingly, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers will be answered always and in all ways and in divine timing. As we embrace this miraculous, majestic, all-encompassing high vibration of the Christ consciousness through the power of our brother Chico Xavier. May we be a protector to those without protection, a leader for those who journey, a boat, a bridge, a passage for those desiring the further shore. May the pain of every living creature be completely cleared away. May we be the doctor and the medicine and may we be the nurse for all sick beings in the world until every being is healed. Just like space and the great elements such as Earth's. May we always support the life of all the boundless creatures and until they pass away from pain May we also be the source of life for all the realms of varied beings that reach unto the ends of space. And so be it. Amen. Love, loving, love.